Hey guys, it's Anna and welcome back to another video of mine and for today's video it is going to be a sketchbook tour. It is my very first one so I hope you guys enjoy watching and yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into it. So to start off, this sketchbook is a DIY sketchbook and I do have a tutorial on that which will be linked somewhere in the description or above here somewhere. But enough of the sketchbook, let's actually get into what I have going on here. Also, a little kind of um, contents of my sketchbook. So it is 16 pages in total, and the first eight pages are all acrylic paintings and things like that, and then the other eight are like watercolors and mixed media with like pencil crayons and watercolor pencils and all that good stuff. So to start off, with the first half of my sketchbook, it is all acrylic. So this is just a really nice little um, painting of just kind of like a bouquet of flowers. Very abstract, but it was really fun playing with the textures and all that stuff. And next up in my sketchbook is just this, which my mom kind of said it looked like a bunch of pizzas. But yeah, it's just um, like another abstract painting of flowers. Really, like, I really used a bunch of colors that I never thought would kind of look sort of good together. Like with the yellows and the purples and the reds and the bright hot pinks and all that stuff. And if you can't tell, I also did use a little bit of metallic paint, which was really fun to work with. Next up, I just have this, which I think is like one of my favorite paintings out of this entire sketchbook. I did follow a tutorial at um, Katie Jobling on YouTube. I love how it turned out. I think it's really great with all the different textures and stuff. And then, next thing is this, which is sadly I think my least favorite. I don't think it really turned out how I kind of envisioned it to be, but it's still a great piece. And again, it's a sketchbook, so no pressure. Just really fun and carefree. So now I know not to do certain things, and it was still fun to do. And then the next little one is probably another one of my favorites. It's just this really great sort of wave kind of thing. It's inspired by that really famous like Japanese wave sort of thing. If you know what I'm talking about, I'm sure you guys do, hopefully. But yeah, I think it's just so pretty. Really like just a lot of textures and I really had fun with the whole splatter effect. I think that was really fun to work with. which is so fun, like it was just really fun to do. I just really was happy with this. Very nice little textures with the little seeds in the middle. And... and then this is something that was very cute. It's just um, a little panda. last thing um, in the acrylic section of my sketchbook is this, which is very abstract and very interesting. It's supposed to be like a bunch of wisteria flowers. Kind of looks like grape vines or something, but very abstract. If anything, if it doesn't look great, just say that it's abstract. And now, moving on to the mixed media slash watercolor section of my sketchbook. This is the first thing, and it's a little ice cream cone thing. So I don't really know if they were maybe grape and vanilla. It was with watercolors and pencil crayons, like just Crayola. And then got a 
beautiful cherry on the side. It was not really how I turn wanted it to turn out to be, but it's still very nice. And again, this is just with Crayola watercolors and um, Crayola pens, colored pencils. And on this side is just me experimenting with a bunch of different flowers. I was not really happy with how it turned out, but it's okay. Now I know what to do and what not to do. Next paint is a beautiful sunset. For some reason, since I was little, I was just obsessed with painting sunsets. I don't know why, but we literally have so many paintings around our house of like me painting sunsets when I was little, and you can actually really tell how like my kind of techniques developed, which is always really cool. But anyways, back to the sketchbook. Yeah, this is just a little sunset, so it was really fun. This is probably one of my favorite pages. A bunch of different little foods, of course. So we've got just like a little um, popsicle, a s ice snow cone thing, pretzel cookie, strawberry, and a peach. Next up, we've got this more sunsets. This is just a very beautiful kind of blue with like violet hues and oranges kind of sunset and a lot of like nice little clouds. And then I just also kind of experimented with like my black Miniso like ink pen and that was really fun. And that was really nice, just kind of basic, typical sunset. really nice like purple and pink and very kind of girly and cotton candy and then this which is the last sunset I promise y'all it's very I don't know I, I really like it I think it turned out looking really like professional got this. I don't know if you guys would recognize this, but it's from the movies To All the Boys I've Loved Before, which is one of my favorite movies. Right away when I finished watching it, I was just obsessed with Lara Jean and Lana Condor, the actress herself. But yeah, I really loved her outfits in the movies. These are two of my favorite ones from the movies. Comment down below if you guys recognize what scenes these outfits are from. The very last page of my sketchbook is this succulent kind of collection. Just little succulent plants and this one kind of looks like the one that's right here. Or maybe that one, I don't really know, but I was inspired by this little plant over here. And then lastly, we've got another sunflower kind of pattern. And I also try to make this flower a little bit darker so you, you're like, the, the viewer can really like pay attention to this one like as the main flower these are kind of like the side dancers the background dancers and that's just about it with my sketchbook in the very back i just finished off with a little cute little giraffe i think that was a really nice touch and just really finished off my sketchbook So I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video and my very first sketchbook tour. If y'all enjoyed watching today's video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and share with family and friends. And ciao! <laughs>
you always tell me perhaps perhaps perhaps